Hi guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. Today's video is all about what's in my makeup bag. Now this is a vintage Louis Vuitton piece that I have been passed down to me, which I love. And I just leave this on my vanity. I think it looks super cute. So we're going to just dig in here and I'm going to share all the things that I just use on an everyday basis. If you're on my channel, you know that I don't do so many beauty videos only because I really love the products that I'm using at the moment. Right now I've found a lot of things that I'm loving and I'm sure you guys will love too. First is my foundation. Um, this is my second bottle and I love the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Now I have um, oily or I should say combination oily. It's more combination in winter and oily in the summer very early in the summer and I love this foundation it keeps me matte all day long it gives you such a beautiful finish it's very lightweight as you can tell I like my makeup to look very natural so you're gonna still see some you know imperfections you're gonna see my skin through the foundation and that's what I love about this and the fact that it's like literally five or six hours at Target the second thing is bronzer I love the NARS bronzer um, as you can tell look at how much I've gone through literally I've like, they should make something to where it's like you really could get into the creases because that's where a lot of the product is lost. And I dig my brush in there every single day just to get the rest of this product. So this is such a great purchase. It's a little pricey, but I love the color. I think it's very flattering on my skin tone. And I don't think it's too harsh or too dark. I think it's perfect just to give my face some dimension on my cheekbone to bronze up my skin without being a harsh contour. I love this stuff. The next face product I have is by Charlotte Tilbury. It is one of their beach sticks. Now this product, and I love the fact that it's a twist up, it's such a beautiful rosy bronze shade. I love putting it on my cheekbones and sometimes of course I go over it with a blush but sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just use this as a blush and I really love it. I put it a little bit on my cheek, sometimes I put it down my nose. Just really where does someone hit my face? Love this. Next product is eyebrows. Now I really don't have um, an eyebrow specific product. If you guys have any suggestions, I would love to hear what you guys use in your eyebrows. But ever since I've been hearing other beauty gurus or people on YouTube, they always talk about always getting a eyeshadow one shade lighter than your eyebrows. And I never understood what they meant. I always thought that would look so funky, especially when you had sparse places in your eyebrows that you actually wanted to enhance. But I did find a color that was definitely lighter than my eyebrows. And I found it in this tiny little quad. I'm pretty sure I picked up um, in one of those like give or purchases. This is from Lancome. This color is called Mochaccino. It's a matte shade. It doesn't make my eyebrows super dark, but it does enhance them and makes them look amazing. So I've been using this color a lot. So definitely leave some of your suggestions down below. And I would love to check those things out too. Now let's go into eyes. Um, this matte quad palette that I put together. I thought I did a good job. This is the color that I wear in my crease. This is the color I wear pretty much um, as a highlight over my eyebrow. This is the color I wear all over my lid. And this is one that I use to define in the crease if I'm going for more of a smoky look. So I love these. I can't pull these out because they're like stuck in here. Um, but once I figure out how to get them out, I will list all the colors down below for you guys. So the next product is mascara. So I'm a mascara junkie. I love testing out mascaras. That's probably one of my favorite things to do when it comes to products. So I have very small natural lashes, so I'm always trying to enhance the length and the volume. And I got this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara from Influencer. Influencer, if you guys don't know, is just an online community where you link up all your social media and you get to test out products that they have you know, with their with their program. So they sent me this Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. This is the newest one that's on the market, and I love it. Definitely gives volume and length at the same time, and it's definitely something I would repurchase. If you guys have small natural lashes, you definitely want to give this one a try. Of course, an eyelash curler. The last thing I have that I wear on a daily basis is the lipstick. This one is the YSL number, number 9. This is a Rouge Per Couture. These are very creamy, they're pigmented, and I love the shades that they have. This one's more of like a rose kind of neutral shade. I love the consistency. The smell is not my favorite. I did talk about this lipstick in a recent video I did. Um, I'll link it up here for you guys. 
It is amazing. I love their range of lipsticks. They're such a great makeup company that there's so many things to try from YSL. So those are all my favorite things, my makeup bag. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some inspiration on new products that you guys can check out yourself. I love watching other people's what's in their makeup bag and seeing what they wear on a daily basis. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, leave your comments and your suggestions down below for all the things that I don't have and you think that I should have in my makeup routine. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.